Imagine a guitar string. When you pluck it, it vibrates and creates sound. Different modes of vibration create different notes, right? Now, shrink that string down, way down, all the way down to a level that's billions of times smaller than an atom. That's a string according to string theory. Instead of vibrating to make musical notes, these strings vibrate to create different fundamental particles, like electrons or quarks. The notes these strings play are the laws of physics we observe. Welcome to Cogni Plus, where curious people like you come to learn about the nature of reality. If you are not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Our universe, then, according to string theory, is like a grand symphony of these tiny strings. Each note a string can play corresponds to a particle we see in the world around us. One mode of vibration makes the string appear as an electron, another as a photon, and so forth. This is a powerful idea, because it suggests a simple, unified view of the physical world. Everything is, fundamentally, composed of strings. A fascinating aspect of string theory is the concept of dimensions. We're used to thinking in three spatial dimensions, height, width, and depth, plus time. But string theory suggests there could be many more dimensions, possibly up to 11, that are hidden from our perception. Consider an ant walking on a garden hose. From far away, the garden hose looks like a one-dimensional line. But if you were the ant, you'd also perceive the circular dimension around the hose. String theory suggests that there are more dimensions, but they're curled up so small just like the garden host to us, that we can't see them. One of the key problems in theoretical physics has been unifying gravity, which works incredibly well on large scales, with quantum mechanics, which governs the realm of the tiny. Think of it like trying to read a map of a vast continent and a detailed street plan of a city at the same time. The scales and rules just don't match. Einstein's general relativity, the theory of gravity, is like Google Earth, great for understanding the structure of large spaces, like continents and oceans. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is like a microscope. It explains what happens at really small scales, like the city streets. String theory offers a potential solution by suggesting that everything, at its most fundamental level, is made up of the same stuff, the vibrating strings. Over the years, physicists have developed five different versions of string theory. This might seem confusing. Shouldn't there just be one? But imagine you've got a bunch of photos of an elephant. One from the front, one from the side, one from the back. They all look different, but they're all pictures of the same thing. Let's take a look at each of them. Type 1. This theory involves open strings, strings with two distinct endpoints and closed strings, strings forming a loop, and it is the only theory that includes both. The open strings give rise to unoriented particles, meaning they don't have a handedness that include the group of particles called gauge bosons, which carry the fundamental forces of nature. Type IIA and Type IIB. Both of these are theories of only closed strings, and they are related by something known as T-duality. T-duality is a mathematical transformation that relates one string theory to another, kind of like a mirror reflection. Type IIA has non-chiral particles meaning they're not handed, while type IIB has chiral particles, they do have a handedness. SO, 32, two named after the mathematical group that defines its symmetry, this is a heterotic string theory. The term heterotic means different, as it contains right-moving and left-moving strings that behave differently. E8XE8 this is another heterotic string theory, named after the mathematical group E8, which defines its symmetry. E8XE8 is a product of two identical E8 groups. You can think of these five versions as five different ways of constructing a vehicle, let's say a car. One version might build the car with four doors, another with two doors, one version might include a sunroof while another doesn't, and so on. They're all cars, but they're different types of cars. Now, if the ultimate goal is to have a unified theory, you might wonder why we have five different versions. In the 1990s, physicist Edward Witten proposed that these five versions are simply different limits or aspects of a more fundamental, 11-dimensional theory called M-theory. 
It's like realizing those four-door and two-door cars are just different models of the same underlying car. The M&M theory doesn't have an official meaning but is often interpreted as membrane or mystery. M theory includes the 10-dimensional string theories but also has 11-dimensional supergravity, where the strings become higher-dimensional objects known as membranes or brains. Returning to our car analogy, discovering M theory is like realizing that cars can have many different features. They can have two doors or four, a sunroof or not, different colors, etc. These are all just different versions of the underlying concept of a car, and all are included in the broader theory of carness. In the same way, all five string theories are just different versions of the underlying M theory. A further concept in string theory is the idea of brains short for membranes. If strings are like tiny, one-dimensional pieces of spaghetti, then brains are like lasagna sheets. They can have any number of dimensions, from zero to nine. Imagine our entire observable universe is a brain floating in a higher dimensional space, like a sheet of paper in the air. Other brains, other universes, could be floating around in this space as well. Despite its beauty and ambition, string theory is not without its critics. A major challenge is that it's currently impossible to test many of its predictions because they occur at scales that are much too small or energies that are much too high for our experiments to probe. Some scientists criticize it as a mathematical exercise rather than true science. String theory is a theoretical framework where the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional strings. It is an attempt to reconcile the two major theories of physics and describe the fundamental fabric of the universe. In this symphony of strings, dimensions are stages, particles are notes, and the laws of physics are harmonies. The work of string theorists is to decipher this cosmic symphony and understand the grand design of the universe. We're not really sure yet. What is the nature of the reality? And who knows if all of this is real or not? All of this might not be real and might be simulated. Watch the video on simulation theory to find out. You won't want to miss it. Hope you like this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Stay curious.